Grand rising to my tribe, you know the vibe. Let's start with our deep breath, y'all. Let's get it. Praise to the most high. Do y'all be doing that with me every time? Drop down in the comment section below if you take a deep breath with me every time. I look like a trucker with this hat on right now. Anyway, man, let's get into it. So, the question was, how do I really feel? Am I hiding how I really feel? Stuff like that, right? So, basically, I'm going to put it like this. I'm not hiding how I feel. And I'm not trying to put on a front like everything is all good. Even though I'm in a situation and circumstance and predicament and all of that that I'm in right now, right? My thing is, either I'm going to stay the same or change. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, I could look at my situation and be down, sad, depressed, all of that, right? But it's like, what is any of that going to do for me? It ain't going to do nothing but make my situation remain the same or even get worse. So with that being said, it's like, if I work my hardest on staying positive and optimistic and faithful and keep my belief in the universe strong then at the end of the day man i don't know why i got my hand up there like that at the end of the day man i got more of a possibility to change my situation rather than for it to stay the same so i could focus on the positive or i could focus on the negative it's a choice at the end of the day because at the end of the day they both gonna be there just like people you're gonna have negative people you're gonna have positive people but which one you gonna focus on because they both gonna be there at the end of the day just like in the comment section i be seeing so much positivity but it's bound to be somebody that's negative and there's going to be somebody that's hating and somebody that's negative somebody that's that's just not positive you get what i'm saying so it's the same with my situation it's the same with any situation because i could look at the cup half full or i could look at the cup half empty and just an example if it's a hot summer day and you got a cup that's half full with ice and some cold ass lemonade or some cold water in it right what you gonna do you gonna look at that cup on a hot ass day and be like damn that cup half empty i don't even want it no more hell no you're gonna take that lemonade and you're gonna take it to the head or that water or whatever else you got in the cup you ain't gonna look at the cup and be like damn it's half empty i don't even want it no more no because you could do something with that. That little bit that's in there that's half full, it could keep you going. It could keep you pushing. It could keep you pressing forward. So, yeah, it'd be times where I feel down, sad, depressed, angry, vengeful, where I want to get revenge on people. But at the end of the day, it's like, like I keep saying, why am I going to focus on that? I have a choice. And being any of those ways is not going to help my situation. And it's damn sure not going to help me get my daughter back. It's damn sure not going to help me to make no money. So at the end of the day, man, I just got to do what I got to do. It's a saying that goes, be a thermostat, not a thermometer. And what that means is a thermometer, right? If it's 40 degrees outside, what's the thermometer going to say? 40 degrees. If it's 100 degrees outside, what's the thermometer going to say? 100 degrees. Because the thermometer is reacting to the circumstances outward the external circumstances but when you got a thermostat in your crib you can set it to any temperature you want if it's hot you can make it colder if it's cold you can make it hotter if it's whatever temperature it is and you want it to be warm you can make it warm you can make it whatever you want it to be right all you got to do is what set that temperature so if it's 80 in your house and you want it to be cooler you can put it to 70 you can put it to 65 and then everything in the house is going to do what eventually it's gonna cool down and vice versa. If you want it to be warmer because it's cold in your house, everything eventually in your house gonna do what? Once you set it to 75, 80 degrees, it's gonna warm up. So you gotta make sure you a thermostat and set your mindset to a certain place. Set your mind state to a certain place, my bad. And be a certain way internally so that everything around you externally could start to, oh shoot. So everything around you externally could start to elevate and basically match what you got going on inside whether it's your thoughts whether it's your beliefs whether it's the way you feel about yourself your situation your life anything your circumstance eventually is going to match that sometimes it's not always the case sometimes you just get put through certain things for me whether it's the case or not i feel like god is really just putting me through some stuff and allowing me to go through some things or not go through but grow through some things in order to be a certain way mentally in order to have a certain amount of strength because in order for me to go to the next level the strength that it required for me to have right now i got to take that same strength 
with me to the next level. I also believe that this is a phase in my life. My bad, y'all. It's a plane going by. But... But I also believe this is a phase in my life where it's a purge. You get what I'm saying? So, like, anything and everything that does not resonate with the frequency or the vibrations for where I'm headed is just falling away and falling off and just exiting out of my life by itself. So, like I said, man, I just got to be a thermostat and not a thermometer. I got to make sure I create and not react because most people are thermometers and not thermostats. So if I cre if I continue to create my situation instead of react to my situation, stuff is going to eventually fall into place. It's only a matter of time. All I got to do is stand the test of time. Now, I also got some messages from somebody that was just nothing but confirmation for exactly what I've been feeling and what I know. I'm about to read it to y'all. It says it really was supposed to be this way. Your ex played her part in a script written by God. The reason Naya is with her and the way it went is to protect Naya from being exposed to seeing her daddy put in a fucked up situation and so that she doesn't have to be homeless. It will make it better for things to come back to how they were organically supposed to be, meaning her being with her dad. This really is Naya's best interest for now because now she will get to grow up the way it was intended. Protected, loved, structurized, nurtured, etc. by her dad. So whatever destiny rests upon her will prevail. You're capable of doing anything and everything you set your mind to. You are what your bloodline has been waiting for. So it's like, man, honestly, that's just confirmation to me that just everything is going to happen exactly the way I know it's supposed to happen. Because no matter what weapon you try to form against a situation, a person, Anything, it can't prevail against divine structure, or it can't prevail against divine order. There's nothing you could do about it. So all I gotta do is just keep going, man, keep pressing forward, man. And honestly, y'all love and y'all support really be helping me get through a lot of stuff. Like, like I real life be fighting back a lot of stuff, a lot of emotions, because I just know I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving. And, my emo and me allowing my emotions and my feelings to get involved, it's not going to do nothing but slow me down right now. But when I be reading y'all messages and I and I see and feel y'all support and I get y'all support and even the people that donated some money and stuff like that, bro, that shit really, yo, that shit, I can't even explain how much that shit helps me, how much it gets me through, just everything, bro, everything. Like, yo, my supporters, bro, I love y'all, bro on some real shit i love y'all if you watching this and you support me just know even if i never spoke to you even if i never responded to your message because i get a lot of them so i do my best to respond to all of them especially because i'm working now but just know that i love you bro i love you if you a male or female whatever you consider yourself as if you transgender i don't care what you are bro i love you on some real shit even if i never met you i love you and if you rocking with me and you riding with me through this journey i love you and i thank you for your support for the i don't even know man i just i like like i told some of y'all words are too immature to express my gratitude for y'all man on some real shit if you younger than me and you look up to me keep rocking with me because i got you i promise you i'm gonna show you how it's done if you my age and you rocking with me i keep rocking with me i love you if you older than me and you rocking with me keep rocking with me everybody that's rocking with me bro i love y'all some real shit i'm sorry i keep repeating myself i know i'm mad redundant and repetitive right now but i love y'all bro on some real shit i love y'all man i don't want nobody feeling bad for me i don't want nobody feeling sorry for me i don't want nobody feeling no pity for me or feeling like i'm no charity case or nothing like that at the end of the day everything happened the way it's happened and everything is going the way it's going for my best interest for people that has helped at the end of the day i'm still grateful for that but i'm strong as hell i'm optimistic as hell and i'm going to keep on doing what i got to do keep on pressing forward grinding working all of that everything i got to do every single day for my life and for my daughter life bro but honestly bro that's it for the day man um the post notification shout out today goes to LaShine M and the crew. 
Shout out to you and your crew. Shout out to y'all for being a part of my tribe, for supporting and rocking with me. Thank you for having y'all post notifications turned on. And if you would like a post notification shout out in the next video, all you got to do is comment tribe down in the comment section below. Just make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Other than that, man, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm going to see if I can do something a little more exciting for y'all. I don't know. So if you enjoyed the vibe, make sure you subscribe and join the tribe. Peace and love, y'all.